I want you to be clear on in whom you believe. We can fellowship with all kinds of people, but we got to be clear on whom, in whom we believe. We can respect everybody, but we got to be clear on in whom we believe. That's why you'll see me on secular talk shows. I can talk to anybody from an ecumenical perspective, from a political perspective. It makes no difference. But then I will always make a distinction. As a Christian, I believe, I understand that I have to live in a society that incorporates a lot of ideologies. I even like that I live in a society that embraces various ideologies. I don't want a government imposing one religion on me. That's what our country is built on. It's the freedom to believe as your heart dictates. So I respect that freedom and your choice therein. But as for me and my house, so you gotta be clear on in whom you believe. That's deity. That's deity. Who has the preeminence? Who is the author and finisher of your faith? That's deity. In whom you believe. That's something you can have when the potter's house is closed. You don't have to wait for the church to open. You don't have to schedule a meeting with the priests. Do you not know you don't need me to absolve your sin? Do you not know you don't have to go in a booth with me and tell me what happened to you when you were seven and what happened to you when you were 12 and, and why you still with that crazy joker you're with right now? You don't have to talk to me about it. I don't want to hear all that stuff. I got my own dirt. Don't give me dirt overload. I don't need anything else to have to pray about. I mean, I will help you if I need to help you, but you don't have to get me on the phone to get God on the phone. You don't have to say, you know, when I get to church Sunday, I'm going to get right with God. Suppose the car breaks down. Suppose the church doors are closed. Suppose I, I die, I drop dead. This is not built on me. You got to know clearly in whom you believe. That is the deity.